If you are interested in making a more seamless transition back into the school year mid-pandemic, then keep on watching. All right, guys. So before we get started, make sure you remember to tap the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you can be a part of the Q Culture community. So the first thing that we want to do is relax. I want everybody to take a moment and just Take a deep breath, girl. Relax, okay? There is no right or wrong way to do this. No one's done this before in our lifetime. We don't know what to do, so there's no need to panic, no need to cause chaos or a ruckus, okay? No need for us to get all riled up. Number one, relax, okay? Number two, research. You want to research. You want to research all options that are available to you. I'll name a few. Homeschool, 100% virtual learning, 50% virtual and 50% inside the school and 100% in school learning. Okay. All of these things are available to you. You need to do your research based on what you can do as a parent, based on the support system that you have and the way that your children learn. All right. You know who you birth. OK, you know, if your child is self-motivated, you know, if they're a self-starter, you know, if they will find any reason to get around whatever tip or training that you are trying to give them. You know who your child is. Be honest when, when you're doing research. Be honest about who you are. Be honest about Knowing if you're a self-starter as a parent, are you self-motivated? Are you, do you need somebody to remind you? There is no right or wrong way. So whatever way you decide, it's going to be perfect for them. Respond. I don't know about you, but I have received a few text messages, uh, automated phone calls, as well as emails, giving me opportunities to fill out surveys as it pertains to my children's return to school. I'm sure that you have received something similar. If you have, please respond. Let these people know in the ways that you can, what your expectations are and what you need as a parent if you decide to do a virtual school or a hybrid learning. Even if you want to set up homeschool, you will still need to reach out to your school board and get information for testing scores as well as other immunization records for homeschool. All, right. All of those things are at your school board. Reach out to them, respond to their surveys, and ask questions through email or through phone call if you have them. Reach out to your district school board. Okay. Be diligent. Whatever thing, whatever way you decide, stick to it. Make it work for you. Make sure these children are learning. Make sure that they are getting what they need in order to succeed. Once you know your weaknesses, you can also try a cooperative learning. If you decide to do homeschool and another parent decides to do homeschool, virtual or hybrid, you guys can come together and that parent could be their strength in math. You could be the strength in English. Whatever your strengths are, you guys could work together and that way neither parent is suffering and neither child is suffering. Next, stop explaining. Stop explaining yourself. You have no reason to explain what you're doing. You don't have anything to prove. Make sure that you find like-minded moms, like-minded parents that have that are interested in learning the way that you are with your children. You don't have to get on Facebook and rant. You don't have to comment on posts. You don't have to explain anything. Do what you're going to do. You have my permission. You have the authority now given to you by God in Genesis 1 and 1, baby. You have dominion. You have authority. You get to choose what you want. Don't explain if you don't want to. Don't get in arguments with people about something that you're going to do anyway. Number five, stop explaining. And last but not least, be kind, okay? There is no reason for you to be yelling at other people about their parenting ideas and their parenting thoughts and what they want to do. There's no need for you to fall out with people because they've decided to do something with their own children. Okay, if it is not illegal, if it is not harming these children, let these parents do what they need to do. Start praying more than you are offering your opinion and be kind to people. Be kind to one another. And also remember that life is too short to short yourself on life. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share it with a friend. Make sure that you comment and like so that more people can see the same information that just helped you. Be blessed.